Hello and welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to share with you a very simple model on how you can calculate what the warehouse size is needed for maintaining your pallets. So this is a very basic model, but you can use it at least to start things off and perhaps you can improve it and really make it custom fit to your needs. Um, if you enjoyed the video and other of my contact, please subscribe to the channel below, hit that like button, and share with anyone that could find interest in this. Okay, so um, the the file or the model is very simple. It's only one sheet. The blue columns are the ones that you have to input information, and the orange ones are formulas where you get um, the results, and eventually there are two green cells, the, the warehouse width and length. The warehouse layout in the model is simulated here where there's there are columns of pallets and in each column there are a number of locations and in each location there are pallets that can be stacked to the height in between columns there are um, there is some distance where a forklift can move around and extract the pallets of course you can change the layout here in the final calculation if you feel like it. So what do you have in the information? You have the pallet types. I have your three pallet types. The width, the length, and the maximum pallets in stack. So for example, um, pallet type B is 2 by 0.7 and uh, you can stack 3 high. Now this works for um, meters, for feet, for inches. You can use whatever unit of measure you want. And finally, you have the quantity, how many pallets you want to store. Now, let's get to the calculations. So, if a pallet is 1.1 in length, and length, from my perspective, is this uh, um, part of the uh, rectangle, and width is this part. Okay? So, length, if the column is 15, let's say, meters length, and each one is 1.1, so I have to round uh, down and I can fit 13 locations. Why round down? Because you can't fit a partial location, so it has to be either, uh, it has to be a full uh, location. <laughs> Next, how many pallets in location? So that depends how many you can stack. So in this case it's 13, but in this case it's 63 number of full columns, so if I have 30, 30 uh, pallets in uh, 30 uh, pallet per column, so I can fit only two columns. Again, rounding down because I'm looking for a full column of the same pallet. Now this is calculating the column width, so <coughs> it's the column number of columns times the width times some sort of tolerance that you can use just for some spacing between um, you know, the columns or the the way the forklift will actually uh, hold the pallets. It's not going to be 100% accurate, so best to calculate a little bit of uh, a little bit of spacing. <laughs> so that's the column width, leftover quantity, the full quantity minus the full um, columns times the quantity for a full column. So that's if I can fit 13 and two columns, so I'm left with four pallets to um, find the location. So again, I'm calculating the number of locations needed based on the height, and now I have the length, okay? And I'm calculating the number of columns, okay? So basically the, the idea is that I have full columns for uh, um, for the same type of, of um, pallet, and then all of the leftover quantities will be grouped together into a um, combination of pallets. And you see it's 1.26, but grouping them, again, I'm using ground up, they're going to be two pallet columns, columns. So in this example, there's going to be two columns of mixed pallets. 
All right. Now, going over here, number of columns, simply the number of full columns plus the grouped columns. Column width, taking the width times, um, taking the, the width plus the number of group col columns times the, the maximum of the width. Again, because it's a grouping, I don't want I don't want to take the worst case. And again, using the tolerance. <laughs> now, I want to calculate the entire width of the warehouse. So that's going to be the number of columns I have plus uh, the number, the distance. Um, sorry, again, the number of columns I have minus one times the distance between the columns. Why minus one? Because for every x number of columns you have one less distance. In this example there are four columns, you have one, two, three. So there's always one less distance to calculate. And I'm taking the width, the net width, and of course again rounding up. So I have a uh, so I have a uh, nice number, rounded number. Length, it's even easier. I have the column length and the distance between the rows to make more room. Now eventually you can take this and extrapolate this. You can um, you know, have a, a warehouse that has two rows identical, so you know this is times two. Um, you could do that calculation as well. For example, you could multiply, you could add another 15 for the length and then you get twice as much capacity. So I hope you enjoyed this this video. Um, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, um, like, share this with your colleagues, friends who might find this interesting, and let me know if you want to get this model. Take care now.